So an absolute marathon to end Trials Day 2 then. A four and a quarter, four mile, two furlong chase around Toaster. It all stays this trip, it'll stay around four mile, three furlongs at entry, no trouble at all. And at the top, Glenfire Fredlock for Alex Cherry, Captain Ben, David Hurley, Friendly Vantage and Ronnie Enemy for Darren Thompson, Poliski Vasilevich, David Robertson, Bynat Griego for Derek Hinton, National Apocalypse Joshua Sutherland, Captain Mannerin and Carrick Mines Fable for Martin Leadham, Karate Lodge Alex Cherry, Sweet Women David Hurley, Fiery Jive, David Robertson, National Madam jo Joshua Sutherland, and Kylie Kinmost and Magna Gracia for Matt Cooper. One or two trainers here need to watch out for the animal rising mob as they get away racing and race, racing their horses twice. They have extreme distances on the same day, you'll get paint thrown over you, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, Magna Gracia is in the lead. Unfortunately, we haven't got nutters like that on there. This, so we're okay. Ronnie Enemy in the lead, then, as they get to the first of the 27. Which they're all safely over. Magna Gracia in second. Carrot Mines Fable down this near side of the purple and white stripes. He's currently third. Fiery Jive is the one who is just trailing the tails at the moment, but an awful long way to go. That's the second of the 27. They've got a jump, so 25 more to negotiate. And a lot of running to be done. Darren Thompson and Joshua Sutherland to the four as usual as they get over the third. Now I think I've said in the last race, can Darren Thompson do a Vinnie Gerard win all the jump races? Well he can't of course because Joshua Sutherland took the hurdle race early on didn't he? So, in the case of the waffling commentator not knowing what he's talking about. The running enemy is in the lead from National Apocalypse in second. Captain Manor in third and National Mayhem fourth. In friendly vantages after that one, and then the Alex Cherry pair, Karate Lodge, and Glen Fry, Fred Lott. With Carrick Mines Fable closest to us, the red jacket of Magna Gracia is next. They get over that ditch with the pink jacket of Binac Griego. And then Captain Ben, Kai Leakin most. The David Robertson pair at the back, Fiery Jive, and Poliski Vasilevich. Head towards the next. I can't give you an exact date for the next set of trials, but they'll be coming up within the next few weeks, I would think. As they get over the sixth, keep your eye on the forums, the post. Alex will put up and he knows where the next trials will be. As they get over the seventh. Safely to the other side of. Coming past the stand. I've got two more circuits of the track to go. The National Apocalypse and Ronnie Enemy are disputing the lead as they take the fence that goes away from the stand. All safely over that one. With Captain Mannering just about showing third, then friendly vantage fourth, National Madam and Glenfire Fridlock. It's a fable just tucked on the back of that group of gap men of a couple of lengths to Sweet Women and Karate Lodge. And Captain Ben and Bynat Griego and Magna Gracia on that one's outside. Then another little gap to the back three as they take that ditch. Back three off Koyalak in most. And the two David Robertson horses, Poliski Vasilevich and Fiery Drive. So racing downhill then there. It's another Thompson Sutherland tussle for the lead. Running enemy and National Apocalypse. Over the tenth they go. Friendly Vantage just moving to third with a slightly better jump than Captain Marins was in fourth. Then National Madam. Glen Fire Fredlock. The Carrot Mines Fable. The order is pretty constant at this point, although Kyle Leak in most has just dropped to the back. Four or five. Yeah, seems to have won the battle to have sole control of the lead. National Apocalypse has accepted the position and has now settled back into second. And the leader made a mistake there, and that has allowed National Apocalypse to 
move forward again. National Madam going with it. Joshua Sutherland, always names his Grand National potentials or horses that he thinks will be racing over that sort of trip. Calls them National something or other. Been doing that for a long time. I'm not sure how many seasons ago he started it, but way back in the SO6 days as they get over that next one and David Robertson's grey was not full perfect down on his nose Poliski Vasilevich but Ronnie Enemy continues to lead to National Madam in second and National Apocalypse third Karate Lodge on the outside is next then friendly vantage down on this near side Captain Ben and Glen Fire Fredlock as they get over that ditch could jump there by Captain Madam sees him get back up into fifth towards the back Kyle Leakin most is just starting to Get a little bit detached as the main body of the field begins to bunch a little bit and Ronnie Enemy leads by a couple to National Madam in second, Friendly Vantage third, and then National Apocalypse is fourth, Captain Mannerin and Carrick Mine Fable, the two in the purple and white stripes together as they get over that one. The jumping's been good. Still on their feet, and Ronnie Enemy is two and a half lengths clear of National Madam as they take the next. All safely over that one, that will be the final fence on the next circuit. Ronnie Enemy in the lead by two. So National Madam second, Friendly Vantage is third. Then after Apocalypse and Captain Manor in fiery jivers move through nicely as they take that one. Racing away from the stand, the Matt Cooper pair have dropped to the back. Magna Gracia and Kylie in most, but it's Ronnie Enemy who's got the lead from the Sutherland pair closing. National Madam and National Apocalypse. Friendly Vantage is next, and then Captain Manor in fiery drive, and Velasky Posilovic are starting to get a little bit closer as well. As Carrick Mon Fables just dropped away a little bit. Alex Cherry's two have dropped right out the back. Glenfire, Fredlock, and Karate Lodge as they take that ditch, which they're all over safely. And Ronnie Enemy, a length up on National Madam and National Apocalypse. Then Friendly Vantage is back in fourth. Captain Manor in his fifth. And the grey Poliski Vasilevich. And they take the 20th. They've still got seven more to get over. And there's a fall at the back. Bynat Griego has gone. So bad luck for Derek Hinton. As he's only what in the race. Parts company with his jockey. There's a mile still to race. And National Apocalypse has come to just about show in front from Ronnie Enemy. A long time there is fighting back. Wants that lead back. National Madam is third. Friendly Vantage is fourth. Then Captain Madarin and Poliski Vasilevich as they take the 21st. Over that one they go after that fiery jive and sweep. We've been trying to get into it. Carrick Mine. Fable looks a bit one pace now. Captain Ben also. A bit of a gap into the Alex Cherry pair are starting to struggle on the Matt Cooper tour seemingly done for as they get over the 22nd and it's national apocalypse and ronnie enemy disputing the lead again with national madam three lets down in third captain manor in four sweet women sweeping around the outside in fifth as they take the 23rd they're all safely over that one and it's now national apocalypse who's just in front of ronnie enemy in second sweet women is third then national madam after that one and friendly vantage captain manor in now looks one pace as they get over the 24th good jump on the outside by fiery jive who's trying to get into it so too is the gray poliski vasilevich but now sweet women has come from nowhere to take it up sweet women's come through now they go half a length clear of national apocalypse in second friendly vantage runner in third forage are is four ronnie enemy and national madam look to be struggling now captain manor is trying to get a second win over the final ditch the third from home faller at the back was poliski vasilevich but it's sweet women in the lead sweet women by two lengths to national apocalypse in second gap back to friendly vantage between these three surely as they race up towards the final couple of fences in there and sweet women is in the front for david Uli. national apocalypse in second 
can get back to friendly vantage. Fiery Drive is trying to run on, so too Ronnie Enemy. They're coming down towards his second last. Sweet Women, a length of the good from on the outside. National Apocalypse, who jumped it slightly the better. These two are clearings between these, and they come down towards the final fence. And National Apocalypse is starting to assert on the outside. National Apocalypse goes a neck up, goes half a length up, goes three quarters of a length up. Into the final fence they go, they get over it together. But it's National Apocalypse in the lead. Friendly Vantage with a faller, and it's National Apocalypse being pressed again now by Sweet Women. But National Apocalypse has got to hang on. And up towards the line, it's going to be another one for Josh Russell. And National Apocalypse takes it. Sweet Women second, National Man on third. Fiery Giant, Fiery Enemy after that one. And then Captain Men. And he lost a couple towards the end of that race. Magna Gracia also pulled up. Friendly Vantage has been up in the van most of the way. Fell at the last. But it's National Apocalypse. And we'll be calling that one home in the Grand National at Liverpool next season. Wait and see. Sweet Women gave it something to think about. And National Apocalypse, the winner for Joshua Southern. Sweet Women for David Hooley was second. National Madam Joshua Southern was third. Fiery Jive for David Robertson was fourth. And Ronnie Enemy, a long time leader for Darren Thompson, was fifth. Keep your eyes on the forums when the next set of trials will be announced.